Folks, we now face a question no American should ever have to ask. How will I get to work? How will I go to school? How will I get to a hospital? Response and response, everyone, including Congress, should be asking only one question, and they're going to be asked a question by your delegation. How can we help? How can we solve that problem? My administration is committed, absolutely committed, to ensuring that the parties responsible for this strategy pay to repair the damage and be held accountable to the fullest extent the law will allow. But I also want to be clear. We will support Maryland and Baltimore every step of the way to help you rebuild and maintain all the business and commerce that's here now. As the governor, as the governor can tell you, within hours of the, American the Maryland request, we approved $60 million in emergency federal funding. I fully intend, I fully intend, as the governor knows, to have the federal government cover the cost of building this entire bridge, all of it, all of it. as we've done in other parts of the country in similar circumstances. When I stand here, I call on Congress to authorize this effort as soon as possible. Let me close with this. This port is over 300 years old. As a matter of fact, as I said, my great-great-grandfather worked here as a waterman in this bay. This port is older than our republic and has been through tough, tough times before. During the War of 1812, a young Marylander named Francis Scott Key, to whom the bridge is named after, sat in a boat in this very harbor. And he watched. He watched the British troops launch an attack after attack on American forces. But as the dawn broke, we saw the American flag still flying. Baltimore was still standing. And our nation, as he rode in the Star Spangled Banner, had made it through a perilous fight. Folks, this is going to take time. But Governor Moore, Senator Cardin, Senator Van Hollen, Congressman Fumi, Mayor Scott, County Executive Johnny O, and others are going to rebuild this bridge as rapidly as possible. And folks, we're determined to come back even stronger. We're the only nation that's gone through every crisis that we've had. We've come out stronger than we went in, and we're going to do it here as well. And once more, to make this perilous challenge, this perilous challenge. You know, because we're the United States of America, there's nothing, nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we do it together. Think about that. Remember who we are. We're the United States of America. Nothing is beyond our capacity. May God bless you all, and may God protect our troops, our first responders, and all those who gave their soul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.